Okay, I break things so you don't have to. <laughs> so I broke my uh, I broke my little attenuator. Uh, I threw it into the bin that I keep all my RF stuff in and didn't really think much about it that this is a piece of glass and uh, right over right over there I just crushed it and a whole big piece cut off and there's a bunch of traces and stuff. So the, the OLED display is no longer working. I think the rest of it's probably just fine and I can probably just replace the uh, display and fix it. But uh, the OLED is dead so when you turn it on it does nothing at all. Anyway, so uh, my loss is your gain. Uh, I will take it apart. Everybody wants to see inside this thing probably. So uh, I've already desoldered it. So the little uh, the little OLED is just uh, its own little board. So I think people may have seen those before. All right, so what's under the OLED? This. So uh, a couple ICs. Uh, let's see. This one is an ST, STM32, of course. And the other one, I think it's Probably a voltage controller. I would get. Oh, that's really small. I'll have to put it on the microscope to read that one. There's a maybe a regulator there. Uh, maybe that's. I don't know. Anyway, that's what's there. Okay, so some microcontroller and some stuff on/off switch. All right. So if you take this board off, so this thing is a piece of. Uh, Aluminum. So this thing comes off, and then the uh, little attenuator is inside. So yeah, it's nice that it's all enclosed in there. So probably better performance. Anyway, uh, I think you could probably could have guessed what this thing looked like even without taking it apart. So that's what it is. Let me uh, let me pop that little one under the microscope. Oops, and see what it says. It says 340E932. Hmm. And it looks like there's two pins connected to the microcontroller, so maybe it's E squared prom or something. Uh, so it remembers when it wakes up. I don't know if that I don't know if the STM32 has E EEPROM on it or not. Maybe it doesn't, so maybe that's a little EEPROM. And then the other chip is a 662K. A little uh, SOT23. SO it must just be a 3.3 volt regulator. And that's anyway. That's all. It's uh, it's all. It's on that board. Um, and the part number of the little attenuators. Uh, since I have my microscope running, part number of the attenuator is. Get it right side up. An H four seven two F D five six. So there you go. I had one of these little uh these little SMA uh attenuators driving me crazy because it uh, kept unscrewing the body kept up unscrewing instead of the uh instead of the nut. And so I thought I'd put some Loctite on it just to keep it uh, keep it ready. And uh I thought I'd go ahead and take it apart because I wanted to see inside. I figure you guys want to see inside too. So this, the shell, uh, just comes off and it has a little, a little uh, female down there that's just uh, press fit, and this pin goes into it. So that's how that works. And then there's this little cartridge here. So this has a female on it also. And so this little cartridge does all of the work. And uh, can you try to keep it focus here? It uh, has a little tiny PC board inside. It looks like it might even be uh, alumina. And it looks like it has some uh, deposited, deposited resistors on it. I don't know if you can really see that. Maybe I can use a flashlight and give us some more. Ooh, that's bright. Give us some more light. Maybe a little bit, <laughs> not too much. Yeah, I don't know if you can really see that. Anyway, there's a little attenuator, a little attenuator built in there. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's hard to see. But anyway, that's what they look like inside this just little one little thing. So let me uh, put it back on. Doesn't matter which way around. Let's see. And I've got some uh, thread locker. Loctite blue. The blue stuff you can remove. The red stuff you have to heat up to remove. So I'm going to put a oh so tiny. Should I apply it now? I'm going to apply it on a something else and then move it over because I don't want to mess it up here I'll put it, I'll put a drop there yeah see it's too big of a drop I'll put a drop there and then I will transfer over some on a screwdriver here yeah that's better I think that will be I think that will be plenty and then uh, screw this together and then hopefully it will not come apart again. <laughs>